to welcome you to stand with me as welcome our senior pastor to come and share with us the word. Welcome. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom. Amen. 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 As you're still standing, I want us to pray. Holy Katonda Wama Wanga. Holy Katonda Wensozi. Holy Katonda Webi Wong. Tukureko Fuge. Oli katonda wange Oli katonda wensozi Oli katonda webi wongu Katukule kofuge Tukule kofuge Katukule kofuge Tukule 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 kofuge to cool a 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 Mubula mufuga, fuga fuga fuga. Oh fuga mukama, mubana ba fe fuga, muba chara ba fe fuga, muba mi ba fe. Oh fuga mukama, mnyumba za fe fuga. Mokani safuga, mubula mufuga, oh fuge mukama, oh fuge tu fuluma, eranga tu yingira, oh fuge oh fuge, oh fuge mukama, oh fuge mukama. Oh, fuge mukama. Oh, fuge mukama. Mukama. Oh, fuge emisana jo na kulwa lero. Lord, may you reign in this afternoon. Oh, fuge mbatu kuvubo. May you reign among us, your saints. Oh, fuge mubana bo abatu midweli nyaliyo. May you reign among us, the people that go down to your name. Oh, fuge mubula muba fo fuge. May you reign in our lives. Oh, fuge mubwe rezabono. May you reign in this ministry. Oh, fuge mukasera kano. May you reign at this moment of time. Oh, fuge muguanga lino. May you reign in our nation. Oh, fuge mushalo chino. May you reign in this community. Oh, fuge munsano. May you reign in this world. Oh, fuge muchifuchino. May you reign in this place. May you reign in each and every person's life. May you reign as we go out and reign as we are coming back in. May you reign in our children. May you reign in our spouses. May you reign in our spouses. May you reign in our neighbors. May you reign in our leaders. May you reign and reign and reign. 
May your name be glorified today. May you be extolled for you are our God. We give you glory and honor. May you reign even at this moment of time. As you've been doing since the beginning. Even now, Lord, may you remain in even authority. Even when we leave this place, may you keep reigning in people's lives. Reign in our hearts. Homes. Rain in our hearts. Rain in our minds. May you rain over our tongues. May you rain in our ears. May you rain in our lips. May you rain in our eyes. Let there not be any part of our body that you don't rain over. Rain on all. We give you glory and worship. We thank you for the opportunity to be here today. You've left us to live for a purpose. May your word work in our lives. For your word is truth. And your word is power. Your word is alive. It is active and it is like a sword. That is double edged. When it gets to someone. It separates the bond from the marrow. It separates the meditation from the thoughts. Lord, may your word discern. May it separate the precious from the vile. May it take away the vile from the precious thing. May it turn us according to your will. May you reign on all. Reign Jesus. We give you glory and the honor. We thank you and we exalt you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we all say amen. 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 Let me request you to have your seats. Amen. Tina, Tina, praise God. The one who healed you from cancer. Glory be to him. Praise God, our daughter. We thank God for the good delivery. Let's read the word of God. I've come to talk about faith. 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 Amen. Amen. John chapter 14 and verses 1. Injili ya mukama wa Yesu yawandikiwa Yohana. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ written by John. Chapter 14 and verses 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house there are many mansions. If it weren't so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place For you I will come again and receive you to myself That where I am You may also be there In the name of Jesus Amen Amen. There are other things I'm going to add on, But because we have a limited time I want to start expounding on this word of faith That the Lord gave us Without faith We cannot even take a step there is no word that God can communicate to you and you think you can rise and fulfill it without first embracing faith. Praise the Lord. It is impossible. There is nothing you can do without faith. One of the good interpreters about faith says there is a way they speak about faith in different ways. Amen. Amen. Some have this interpretation that faith 
His faithfulness. Eh? His trust. His trust. His trust. And determination. That you incline someone. Or into something. That is the definition of faith. It is the trust. And determination. You invest in someone. Or in something. Faith. One person said, You try and fail, but never fail to try. Amen. Amen. I have the account. But it had no money. It couldn't even be there. There. there were very many demands. Two weeks passed when I accepted to buy. The owner of the land. The seller called the other person and asked him whether the pastor was buying or not. The other person said, then he asked him. He called me. And asked me whether I was buying or I was joking. I said, I'm not joking, I'm buying. He called him and responded to him. The pastor said he's buying. And he told him this. If he's serious that he's buying, on the 36M, I told him, let him first give me one million. Faith. It paves a way. It makes a way. Let him first give me one million. Listen. After two days, when I had received a million on my account, previous two days, I'm starting to solicit the 36. So now I've gotten the one million. I called Pastor Jesus. But they still had an office in the court. I told him to make me an agreement. He's an expert at making agreements. I requested him to make an agreement when it is saying I'm buying. It is not a commitment agreement. It was a buying agreement. Selling agreement. Selling agreement. They wrote it down. I bought the border. I ran. I called him to come and find us there. I got in my pocket. I brought all the one million. I counted it and it was the money. He signed. He signed. With my name and my wife's name, I always buy my things with my, with my wife. I buy them with my wife. Because I moved the understanding of the people. So I don't want to anyone. Here. I don't, we don't know who is going the, to die first. The, the, the things you say that they have to so die first. It is not scriptural. <laughs> Even you ladies, you know you what you tell us. Now what if you, you die? die? What if you die? How shall we survive? Why, why is it not you who is going to die first? But in case I'm the one to die first, I don't want the people from my clan to disturb me. In case I'm the one to die first, I don't want people from her tribe to, to disturb me. Amen. We made the agreement and we signed. That is, was the beginning of my journey to buy. Amen. I reached in about 15 million. I would give them 500,000. 1,000,000. 2 million when I get it. When I reached in around 15, he told me, Pastor, start building. <laughs> I told him I'm still paying you, He said, if the lawyer is still paying me, me, I've asked, allowed you to start building. Put something on the ground. The man, oh, the man persisted. And in 2017, that is why I told the people who were around that I'm going to start building. I built by faith. Paid the plot by faith. I started building by faith. I made the excavation of the foundation by faith. I made the first floor by faith. The second floor by faith. The second floor as well by faith. I roofed by faith. 
What are you on? What are you up to? Faith can bring the invisible to be visible. Faith. It creates. Faith can create. Faith can create. If there is anything you've ever gotten in this life and you know that it is God who gave it to you by faith. you received it by faith there is nothing you got because of your energy hallelujah hallelujah Lenny, pastor Lenny when he was going to the university I remember very well he got good points in senior six. In senior six. And there is a specific course he wanted to do. But because the people are in the university and the government, they are wisecars. I don't know whether he remembers, but me, I remember. By the time he went to join the university, they had already chosen a course for him. Because they were the ones who were going to pay for him. They gave him social sciences. So now me. Me, my, my, my degree was in social science. My degree was a degree. I was not learning about the course. He asked, I asked him whether he can get a degree. He said yes. I told him you go. He said it's not what I want. I said, what's wrong with this young man? He was even still a young man. I said, what is wrong with this young man? We don't have money. We are not doing well. We are poor. We've gotten a chance for the government to pay for him. Whether it will work or not, you just can't do it. He said, it's not what I want. So what do you want? He said, I'm going to request them to, to facilitate my, school, my school fees. He wait, said, wait, wait. I told him, you? I'm talking about faith. To refuse the government course. And he requested for another course. He requested for mass communication. Is, it, is that good? Yeah. He said, okay. He said, okay. Just believe God. Come on, Praise God. First semester. Ye. He is first semester. Ngabeta agatiko ko deposit ya metwa la bidi mweta. Ndio kila bulungi buli semester. Yeri asa soli metwa lochi nana. Every semester he was paying eight hundred thousand. Baadhi wana zonge zana kati. The money was not yet. Inza na wangu mboka denga buta. Nuli yari kuchi nana. By that time it was at around eight hundred. It was not so high. And first semester. Kuwa tage metwa la bidi mweta. We needed two hundred and fifty thousand. Atandike. For him to start. But were we really seeing the money? Were we seeing it? It was nowhere. But should I tell you the good news? Pastor Lenny. By faith. By faith. He studied up to the finish point. I don't want to go in so many details. But let me tell you, he started. And he finished. He even started again. He finished. And then now he started. He's going to finish. Any time he's going to become a doctor. Any time he's going to become a doctor. He's now a doctor. Now he's a doctor. Not these other ones they just buy. They are the doctors they just bought. He has worked for it. But the foundation was what? Faith. Me, when he started and he finished, I thought a voice speak with him that there is nothing not unless the one who wants it, they don't really need it. There is nothing impossible. Unless you're the one who wants it, you don't really need it. Have you understood it well? There is nothing impossible in this life. Unless you're the owner, you don't need it. Education is not for the wealthy. It is for those who desire it. Confidence, 
the confidence you have in something is what boosts the faith in you and you reach what you want. No one can never deceive you that they did not study because they didn't have school fees. It is impossible. They were just pushing someone who was at a steep. School fees, you are liking school fees? You should allow me to start working. So they said, okay. They will not stop that. Mm, you so you I, I can work. They are now of a good age. You can start working. And you become foolish and you start working. You enter in the industrial area. You enter in the Indian. Where they park their water. And you say, I've been given a, a water in the company. We are the ones who park the water. You think you've gotten a job. That is not a job. Some of them they withdrew from the company. But let me encourage the students who are still educating. Even though there is no potential. But the potential in you is enough for you to be educated to the point of being And you should not even allow any diversion. Let me also tell the people who help the students. Stop taking advantage of the opportunity of the students and you command them what they should learn because it is what you're able to find. If I was still a student and someone was paying for my school fees, if the course I'm going to do is for three million and the one who is funding me can manage one million, I tell them you give me that one million and leave the rest of the things to me. Do not allow any diversion. Faith you. Your faith from nothing can bring you from nothing to something. No from nobody to somebody. Just raise up your faith. For faith is the substance of the things hoped for. Faith creates faith production. It works. It produces. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith. They say faith is the currency of heaven. I have told you faith is the factory. What has everything that you need? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Faith. Any born again here when you do, when you lack faith, you are dead. The Bible says in James chapter 2 it says that faith faith any type of faith that is not in you it is dead. So there is a, a pillar where the faith is put. The Bible says uh, in the book of Romans 10 17, that faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. Peter number one. If you want to have faith, you need to be a good hearer and a hearer of the word of God. Any word that is preached here, it is driving you into faith. There is no word that we wind up with and we tell you that God is going to provide for you. Then we wind up by picking up the and we say, you make a line up. Line up here. Line up here. Pick this. No. We just deliver the word to you and you believe in it. Because you've heard it, let it go and work for you. If we've gotten a good revelation and we've been helped a lot, we even can call you out and we lay our hands on you. But even though we don't do that, 
The word we've spoken unto you is a now. If only you can no hear it mbiko. and you put it into action, you're going to be more than a conqueror. For faith brings to manifest. Faith can make you deliver. Eh? Deliver? Sidi mkuzala ma. Nye kuzali sam. Kukubi sam. Multiply. Aha. O kiza kukubi sam. Faith can multiply. Kuyuzo kwelo kutono lero. It might be small today. Nye kusura ato kukubi sam. But it can multiply and tomorrow it becomes great. O kiriza chitono lero. If you believe in the word is small today. O kiriza chitono lero. You would have given access to the great thing that is going to be added to the small one. Praise God. Praise God. I told you I first believed for a plot of land. Then I believed in a storage house. The good thing everyone has their own measure of faith. Their own measure. You cannot borrow it from someone. Your faith is your faith. Your faith is your faith. And my faith is my faith. So now never get, never do a mistake of trivializing the other person's faith. If you've accepted to be in that situation, it is okay, you remain there. Don't move those who are believing for great things. You're, you're bringing trouble for yourself. For every time you provoke the faith of the other, you're provoking Christ himself. Praise God. Praise God. So among us, so the people who have to even repent, who saw what I was believing God for, and they started to provoke. That one is just making a show. Will he manage with that house? I was able to manage. Because it was not me working. My faith made me to manage. So now I'm sleeping in it. I'm soon welcoming you. I'm soon inviting you. I'm soon doing a housewarming. Prepare yourselves to feast. I will do a very good buffet. Me and my wife we shall do a very good feast for you. I was expecting December, but we might, we might, not, even there. We might not even get there. When we entered it by faith, then God has just put us at another divine speed. The other one is a hotel. I told, you, I told you everyone who visits us, they have to, to sleep over. Praise the name of the Lord. Me every time I reach at my gate, I wonder whether this is my home. I keep on wondering whether this is my home. It's like I'm, I'm still in a long dream. faith. But it was because of faith. You're losing out. You're losing out, ladies and gentlemen. You cross up this faith and take it. There is nowhere it is so. Just receive. Just receive. Jesus is in heaven looking out for who are believing in him. He's looking out for those who are believing in him that he should do something for them. Because he told us in the Father's house there are many mansions. I'm going to prepare for you. So he has already prepared the mansion. He is looking for the people to give them the mansions too. And you're still there doubting. That one is just trusting something else. Me, aside from God, there is nothing else. You even say that I have my brother, my young brother, he is well off. You're the one who sees his wealth. I don't see any wealth in him. Should I cling on to that one? I will, I will, I will die of poverty. He came to Uganda, I was the one who was the house for him. You are not there. I was his 
block of the house. I was even the commission. I refuse this commission. I refuse this commission. The Muslim who was selling the house told me, how much should I put as a commission for you? I told him, don't bother. He, is no, he doesn't have money. Because I had discovered that the money to buy the house is going to get it from the bank. He's going to take a loan. And should I get a commission from a loan? I have my God. I have my God. The man who was on a four-year mortgage, and then you take commission on him. There, the brother is the one working for him. No, he's there. If there is anything he did, he did, he did it just like you did. A bag of cement, a block. Should I cling that the ones who have built for me? It is God who has built for me. Let me even take away that thought from you. Thoughts, if I was also had Pastor Daniel as my sibling, I would be well off. You don't need to be, be gone with me. You need to have an identity with Jesus. Have you heard? Tell your neighbor and tell them, have you heard? Tell them it is not Pastor Lenny who has built for him. It is not Pastor Lenny who has built for him. Because I also had those rumors. He has his brother. We all just belong to Jesus. That is where we meet. <laughs> Where is there an altar in his house? It's because he's doing out for something from God. Why should I harvest from the one who is also harvesting? My life is not relying on any person. For you to realize that is here. Ask Pastor Lenny. He has spent nine years in compassion campana. I can count like not more than four times that I've reached in his office. Amen. Amen. I'm not a beggar. I'm not a beggar. I'm a prayerful person. And the one I pray from, I know. Even the four times I've gone to his office, it is, it is because he invited yeah, me. He's, He's the one who office. had requested me to meet him in his office. I cannot go there to get the lunch there. No. I'm a man. And I have Jesus. And Jesus has brought me from somewhere. Amen. If Pastor Lenny had just come, I would also just cling to him. I also helped him at some moment. Can you just cut it there? Just cut it there. I was and the mukula angira. Mbuli rangiri. I'm preaching the gospel. Mbuli rangiri. I'm preaching the gospel. Ngaliku university atambu zangeli kile na jicho suku. When he was at the university, he used to hey, walk and come to Chisuku. He normally speak about the Chisuku. He used to foot up to Chisuku. But his reason I was, was, was he had come to meet the brother to give him something. To go where they sell things at a cheap price. I thank God I also used to do it. When I used to get something, that time I would be given a, a 15,000 in church to facilitate my meals for a week. So I would pick some of that and give him. He would food from here to Makerere. Should I really, really rely on that one? <laughs> the one I know in details? Even the car is driving, it is not easy to compassion. Me, I'm driving my own car. For him, he's driving a car for the organization. So don't over cling on to him and disturb him. The service comes on and then you put him aside. He's also being demanded. 
stop bringing your demands on you. Don't disturb others. Let me repeat it. Don't disturb your brethren. Stop putting people in corners and telling them your problems. You are sending people away from the church because you lack faith. So you go on your fellow brethren. Help me stand with me in this situation. Because you lack faith. The time you spend cornering someone in a corner, telling them your problems, you spend the time when you're telling Jesus and putting him in the corner. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! They also have their problems. They have them because they are human beings just like you. At a higher level, higher devil. And the more you go high, the more the devil comes. Higher level, high demand. Higher level, high demand. No way to have you where you go to the market to buy the small fish someone is looking for money to buy the big fish he's no longer at a level of, 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 of the, the, the bananas he's on the level of the banana cluster higher level, high demand high level, high demand you're troubling them for nothing. They are sons of men. Go on your knees and you cry to your God. Jesus is alive. I've built my house when I don't have any funds from anyone. Praise God. They gave me, but I, I'm not the one who requested it from them. I was not begging them. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. No. I know the God I believed. That is where I always ran to. So I reached in the house. I reached in the plot and I prophesied over it. There is a great storage house here. I'm seeing the prayer room here. I'm seeing this here and this here. The foundations began and I declared. I called upon the iron bars. I called upon cement. I called upon the labor field. I called upon sand. I called upon stones. I called upon and the house reached out somewhere. Plaster. And I had to declare plaster. Mpitenzij. And call upon doors. Mpite tiles. And call upon tiles. Mpite and call upon electricity. Mpite, mpite. And call and mpite declare. Range. And declare painting. Range. I said, Father, may you dress this house with a good color. Range. That is the painting. Range. May you dress it with a good color. So I've seen God really adorn it with good attire. We entered it when it just had undercoat. You would lean on it and you come with the color. Now we've painted it. It is under painting. Do you know where we are now? We are now looking for the price of the light. Now the window shopping we are doing is for the lightings. And good lightings. The window shopping we are doing is for the furniture. Do you know why? The word I'm preaching to you came to me yesterday night. When the Holy Spirit gave me a rewind. And he showed me when there was nothing in my house. There is nothing in my house that I, I did not declare. Terry. Nothing. Yesterday I had my sleep in that meditation. Faith and faith I even told my wife even this has dropped into my mind and I should not forget it. The words used to come in me. I rose up and turned on my phone. And I wrote it in the phone notebook. And God was sending me to tell you. Do not stumble over people. Don't bother telling people your problems. Just raise your faith. God. God. He does not demand you a lot of faith. He demands faith from you. That is as small as. That is small. As a mustard seed. The smallest seed. 
If you have faith that is as a mustard seed, you will speak to the mountains and they will be leveled. This was my revelation. What God is requiring from you is the foundation of your faith. As small as a mustard seed. He is trying to tell you begin. I told you that faith grows. Faith expands. Faith can expand. Faith multiplies. Faith mm. So God is telling you to begin with a small faith that is equitable to a master's seed. If you start from there, then you would have started. Praise God. The things that began as a, a mere foundation that were built, they became a house that has no doors. Now the doors are in and the doors. So now we are bargaining and negotiating for other things. We are no longer confessing a house. We are now declaring the things we need in the house. For so the faith began like a mustard seed. Never despise any humble beginning of someone. Never despise what someone confesses with their lips. As long as they have faith, it is possible. A day will come and people who are friends, people will increase in friendship because no one has disappointed the other. Do not cling on to people. Do not rely on people. You will hurt them for nothing. You have a living God. He's the one you should focus on. Amen. So I've given you a word of hearing. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The second thing. Faith. It moves with an action. Faith without action is dead. Life without faith is dead. Faith without action or life without action is dead. Is dead. A life that does not have Jesus, it has no faith. A life that does not have faith, it is dead. Even faith without actions is dead. Most of the people, this is the kind of faith they have. James chapter 2 verses 13. This is where most people fall. This is their level of faith. They just believe God. They just believe God. <laughs> I just believe God. You know, someone believe God. Yeah, Pastor, we are believing. You are believing. You and who? Why don't you say I'm believing? Pastor, we are believing. I believe God, but He has not come through for me. You. You are not believing him. For him not coming through, it means you are not believing him. The day you will believe in him, he will come out for you. One day I was preaching here the gospel. I told you about what they call unusual faith. The unusual faith yes. is the type of faith that has actions. Faith that has actions. Is a type of faith that has action. Faith is not redundant. It must have an action that backs it. Say amen. Say amen. One time they gave me a story of a woman who was married. And the husband was upset with Na her. And he ran away from Abasi the house. Changa changa. The men always can be get upset. Please have mercy upon us. Because even though you don't repent, you still take us in the same category. If a woman has been disappointed by the man, every time they see a man, they say all men are the same. 
You might be right. But you should have mercy upon us. So the man left the house. The woman was an intercessor. She interceded to the Lord. And the Holy Spirit. He gave her a revelation. But in the things that the husband took. As he was packing. There are things he left behind. He forgot. The woman prayed for the husband. He prayed for the husband. He prayed for the man. One day. As he was in prayer. The Holy Spirit gave her a revelation. That you pick of one of his underwears. And put it in the saucepan. And start boiling them. Boil him. Amidst the prayer, she was even weeping. She lit the stove and she got hold of the stove and she put it on the stove and she got hold of water and she poured it in and she picked the underwear and she put them in. She picked a spatula and she started tearing, tearing. By the time they were boiling, he was saying, "I'm calling you from wherever you are." He boiled him. He was his husband. Yeah, my marital husband. The one just came from anywhere. And he snatched the husband away. Faith. Faith. Without action. He's dead. He's dead. He boiled the man. A one week passed on. The man came back with his luggage. Let me tell you this. So everything you see physical in this world is controlled by the spirit. It is controlled by a spirit. Behind everything visible you see, there is a spirit. You think the people that always do sorcery, what do they base on? Someone can draw the paper as they are calling you and you really come. Because that is what they are believing in. There is sorcery in that kind of way. Faith. The Holy Spirit works in it to give you directions of what you're supposed to do. Me, after getting the word of building a storage house, it came in me when I was still renting. I began a prayer. As I was moving in my rental, me, I thought I was moving in my storage house. And I was moving, I would be feeling stepping over the stairs. Now I'm going on the higher floor. I'm going to my master's bedroom. I'm going to the prayer room. Luckily enough, I was praying in the house. And the mockers were not there. My wife cannot raise bear me Take a faith young. I would put my faith into action. Move call what? Kumbe. Not knowing that every step I'm taking in the spiritual realm, they are putting it into action. Every step I was taking in the spiritual realm, it is being built. Every step I would take in the spiritual realm, it will be built. You say amen. But you, you get you. Not of you don't even get a revelation of getting someone's gown and you put it on. You even lack that idea. You have someone who has ever brought you You don't even get the idea to come and borrow the gown from them. them. Yet one night, you're going to spend the night in prayer and you're in a gown. In the head you're putting on, you're saying a day is going to come when well, I'm the one who is at the market on my graduation day and you declare that, and you declare that, you declare that. Faith, faith with action. Praise God. It's gone. But you just sit there as long as I'm done with prayer, you don't even, you've not done any sign at all, any act of faith. You are a bachelor and you're in your house. You've spent 10 years there. It is your, your time to get married or to marry. 
You even like to buy an undergarment of a young lady. You can buy a set. You said, you know, these are my wife's garments. Where is she? She's not yet here, but she's coming. I I'm seeing her. You spin his time. Make some juice. Make some fruit juice. The food that you prepare. When they get a revelation. And you, 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 you prepare the food very well and you serve it in a way as if you're serving to your husband. You can't, you kneel before your cut table. And you say, honey. Here is your meal. Here is your meal. Message it, Julo. Praise God. When the neighbors are hearing, you talk to them. Tomorrow they will ask you, which visit did you get that the you are soon seeing him. But you are just there. God will bring him. You reach a moment and you start saying, You think I'm the only one? There we are very many who are still saying, It is called consolation. Consoling yourselves. And consolation does not bring what you want. Put action. Put action. Put in some crazy actions, you know. Amen. Amen. If we can sing songs that say, I'm looking for Jesus, where is he? You go, I, saw, I want to see him under the chair. Those are really crazy things. You can never look for Jesus under a chair. You cannot look for Jesus in the in a speaker. You cannot look for Jesus in a basket. I'm looking for Jesus, where is he? Here there are only coins. There is no Jesus here. If you're able to do those actions, even put your faith in actions, you say amen. You make up without any actions backing it. You do some makeup. And you say this one, it is the one for my introduction. And you're the one who has made up yourself. And you say you, you're going to look so beautiful on that day. Mm. You make up everything very well. You adorn yourself. And you say you look good. When you're the one telling yourself you look good, you're going to look so spectacular. I've seen you. Action! Tell your neighbor, put action. So I want to end up by telling you, even though you put action, choose, change even the way you do things. Faith. You should change the way you do things. Faith. 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 You're in a youth meeting here on the university. And your conversation is all bitter. And you want the church boys to come on me. All your conversation is intimidating and threatening. If they dare come and confront me, I'll just kick them. I slap you. Hey. 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 Approach so your action. Even your approach while doing the action should be good. Should be a good one. Amen. Amen. When they tell you, greet your neighbor. Don't just spend time greeting your fellow ladies. Go to the opposite sex. Be a bit respectful as you're greeting. Like the Baganda do it. Don't just be there undermining. You, you first go down on your knees. Praise God. Are you doing it? Oh, Lucy. Lucy, man, I want. So you're saying, you think ah, I'm trying to action. Be called one. Yet it is a neat action. Praise God. Action. 
Chikodwa. Amen. Amen. Atesikuetega. And no one's to position yourself. Uh -uh. No. Be serious. Just be serious. That oh, the you know. Positioning yourself it means you came intentionally to position yourself for that person. Even show respect. Put in some discipline. Oh, faith must have discipline as well. No, have faith. Oh, faith. Kutonda. It creates. It brings the invisible to be visible. Have faith. You have the pain before you run to any people to pray for you. You first speak to it. You're in the wrong place. Whether it is in the leg, get to it and tell it you leg. You have to preach the gospel. You do not have to force it. Amen. Amen. Don't just say this leg. This one. The devil is powerful. He took my leg for himself. <laughs> you are just anointing you are him the praising devil. the devil. You are fueling the devil more. Amen. Amen. You tell him you have no authority. <laughs> Tap on it. You say you have vibrates and then you start saying It's like as if you're promoting them Please handle me carefully I'm delicate, I have vibrates The more you confess it You just empower it to multiply They say this one has Asha does you just tap on your stomach. You speak and you speak to the fibers that they are misplaced. Whether you look at woman and say there must be a child here. No vibrates, brother, a child. But you console yourself. You see us. That is our character. They told us. My auntie. My mommy did this. And the enemy just says good for you. We have them. The communication of the power. They even bring more man power. I beseech you and I request you to raise up your faith not really yes, Jesus is alive as he was he is and he will be forever do not hold anything as an excuse he's still working as he used to work he's still working and he will forever work Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have very many people have a testimony. Over. When their victory was through faith, they didn't have anything visible. But now they have become something. My son Clinton, he had given up on studies. After being content that he is folly, he is not wise. The devil can give you a name and you also accept it and you become it. Until when he rose up, he just had a faith message that faith comes by hearing. and by hearing the word of God. One night we were with him, and the minister declared upon his life, he said, Young man, from today, I have named you wise man. The, the one the devil had called a foolish man. God came down and he turned the name around. And he came out from his life. He said, I'm going back. When he had fallen for two times, he was pursuing the Lord. He had tried and he had failed. He went back and he failed. He said he gave up. The one you're seeing there. After going to town, he's the one who parks the cars. He had gone. That is how the enemy can, can snatch away people's dreams. He had gone to multiplex. He's the one calling the cars. He <laughs> He foots from there to Chisugu. When would you really come out? And God visited him in that night. Just like he has visited you today. 
We came from there overnight. When Clinton's mind has changed, he has said, I'm going back to pursue that I'm going to overcome. He went. And he tried again the third time. And he excelled. And he excelled. Now he is at the university. He is pursuing law. The dream is in possession. Faith. Faith. He brings back things. By faith. You are more than a conqueror. Raise your faith. Rise up on your feet. Rise up, rise up. Rise up. Pray for yourself. You have not yet died. Your things are not yet come to the end. There is still another chance. Raise your faith. The dream that had died may it come back to life. The things that were buried may them come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, raise up your voice and pray. Raise up your voice and pray. Pray in faith. Pray in with action. You have the word and it is not your name. It is not your time to put in action. Put into action. Confess as you're going to do them. Pray to the Holy Spirit to give you a revelation of the actions to do. A revelation of actions. And you start praying in them. May your prayer have action. May your prayer have action. Just come out of the wise. Faith May your faith does not come by speaking, but it comes by hearing. Now declare what you hear. Declare what you hear. Declare what you hear. But don't just declare out of anything. Declare what you hear. And declare it in faith. Because you've heard. After the end of it all, the Holy Spirit will give you a revelation of an action. Yes. To give you a revelation of an action, the Holy Spirit is going to give you a revelation of an action to do in order to strengthen, to confirm your faith. Your faith it is not going to be fulfilled until when it has actions. The actions in faith are what brings the things that are not visible to come to visibility. The acts of faith is the factory that produces what you believed. The acts of faith a word starts to speak up what the things you've done. Every time you get your faith and you put it into action, you would have started creating the invisible to be visible. And it is acts. The acts of faith. And what starts to bring to manifest what you've believed. Pray for the power to have faith. Pray for the grace to receive faith. Pray for the revelation in faith. Even change the type of prayer that you make. You pray a prayer of faith, not just a prayer of words. But pray of faith. Put your faith into action. Put your faith into action. It's not just speaking. It is beyond that. You need to believe. You need to put your faith into action. Trust God. Confidently. You need 
not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God. When your life is moving in faith, God already supports it. Because you believe that it is God. Every time you adopt the word of faith, then God would have come in through for you to fulfill your needs to be fulfilled. For He brings the invisible to be visible. We believe the things of God as they are there. But we want them to come to pass. That is why we believe that they are there. Now, since that we all what we all believe is invisible, be untouchable. They are untouchable. And we want them to be visible. We want them to be touchable. To so that we should get hold of them. them. That we should see to be them. them. That we should have of to them. them. That we should rejoice in to them. That we should rejoice in them. Hey. Those who believe, they will eat of the fruit of faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give him a mighty hand of applause. Give him a mighty hand of applause. Come on, come on, man. Where are you, come on? Yes, we are going to move on. Your word has been preached. Of faith. Your word has been preached. Of faith. Our faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. Father, I pray as your people have heard your word, help them to put it into action. For it is not a matter of uttering, but it is a matter of hearing. And not only hearing, but also putting into action. Today they have heard. Let them hear and they go but out and put it to action. Go and they see your mighty hand. When it brings to manifest whatever they need in their lives, bless come. them and do them good. Glory and honor be to you. May you, you heal the sick in faith. Help those who have specific needs in faith. Those who think it is not possible, may they see them, their possibility in faith. May you raise your people from one level to another. May they move from power to into power. That even though the valley they are walking in is called Baka. But because of faith, they named it into a valley of joy. And that joy was made manifest. Father, help us. Help your children to understand that what they need is in the, within them. Let them take the word of faith to be vital. May they see your goodness when it is bringing to manifest what they need. The transport that brings our needs is in faith. Lord, Lord, let may your anointing fall upon everyone may the spirit of faith fall upon everyone the young and the toddlers the tall and the short the poor and the rich may they believe that they are rich yet they are still poor may the weak believe that they are strong yet they seem to be weak those who lack the dead believe that they have a abundant may those who are not able believe that they are able may faith create whatever they need may you be exalted and praised in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. May God bless you Amen